welcome to our channel. In an intense week on General Hospital, Sonny Corinthos is on the verge of making a life-altering decision as the fate of Alexis Davis hangs in the balance. The drama unfolds as Sonny, ever the protector, prepares to take drastic measures if it means saving Alexis from a crime she didn't commit. With the stakes higher than ever, Sonny is determined to find a way out of the legal mess, but time is running out and the chances of uncovering new evidence are dwindling. Carly Spencer, concerned for both Alexis and Sonny, recently voiced her worries, but Sonny assured her that he knows what must be done. He believes that locating the missing weapon could be Alexis' only shot at clearing her name. Yet, as the search drags on, Sonny faces the grim reality that the weapon may never surface, and without it, Alexis may be doomed. This is when Sonny reveals his most shocking plan yet, if all else fails, he is prepared to turn himself in to the authorities, taking the fall for a crime that he committed, not Alexis. In a selfless act, Sonny won't allow Christina Corinthos Davis' mother to suffer for something she didn't do. If it comes down to it, Sonny is willing to confess, and he plans to explain this to Christina during a heart-wrenching conversation. Sonny already implied to Christina that he's responsible for Agent John Jagger Cates' death so he may now confirm that if anyone has to go to prison, it should be him. Christina is torn between her loyalty to her father and her desire to see her mother freed. She doesn't want Sonny behind bars, but she can't bear to see Alexis take the fall either. It's a brutal dilemma that leaves her emotionally wrecked, especially after everything she's endured recently. Meanwhile, Sonny contacts Diane Miller, his trusted attorney, to discuss the next steps. It's clear that Sonny is preparing for the worst, getting his affairs in order in case his drastic confession plan becomes necessary. But Sonny's inner circle, including Michael Corinthos and Jason Morgan, are not on board with this plan. Michael will make every effort to stop his father from going through with it, while Jason, typically Sonny's most loyal ally, will also express hesitation. Neither of them believes that Sonny should be taking such a dangerous step so soon. As the week progresses, the tension mounts. Sonny's resolve hardens, and he edges closer to walking into the Port Charles Police Department and confessing to taking John down. But will he really go through with it? Or will Michael and Jason, desperate to protect him, find a way to stop him at the last second? With so much uncertainty in the ever-present curveballs that Port Charles is known for, Sonny's fate hangs in the balance. General Hospital spoilers hint at more twists and turns, but one thing is certain, Sonny's bold move could change everything for him and those he loves. Will he sacrifice his freedom for Alexis, or will a last-minute miracle keep him out of prison? Stay tuned as the drama escalates. In a gripping and emotional week on General Hospital from October 7th to 11th, the drama in Port Charles reaches new heights, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. The preview video hints at five intense days packed with shocking confessions, unresolved feelings, and a highly anticipated reunion that's bound to stir up all kinds of emotions. The preview opens with an unexpected moment between Anna Devane and Jason Morgan. Their unresolved tension from the steamy kiss they shared in a prison cell at Jen Sidwell's camp in Africa is front and center. Anna, looking serious, finally asks Jason if they'll ever talk about that kiss. Fans have been torn on this surprising lip lock, especially since Jason is Anna's daughter's ex. With Lucky Spencer's dramatic return to Port Charles after his rescue mission, neither has had a moment to address what happened. Now, they'll face this awkward yet intriguing situation head on. Could sparks fly again, or will this be a romance best left unexplored? While Anna and Jason deal with their past over at the prison, tension mounts between Alexis Davis and Sam McCall. Alexis looks visibly shaken as she warns Sam that Christina Corinthos Davis can't tell anyone about that gun. The GH preview immediately cuts to a scene showing Christina standing in the police department, nervously proclaiming she has information about the night Agent John Jagger Cates was killed. This shocking development puts Christina right in the spotlight of a major investigation. Will she reveal everything or is she headed down a dangerous path of deception? Meanwhile, at General Hospital, things take a heartbreaking turn for Elizabeth Baldwin and Terry Randolph as they anxiously await test results. The focus shifts to Lucky Spencer, 
who doesn't appear to be in good shape as he learns whether he's a liver donor match for his sister, Lulu Spencer. The tension is palpable and fans are left wondering, will Lucky be able to save his sister's life or will his health issues complicate this already dire situation? As the GH preview wraps up, viewers are treated to the moment they've all been waiting for, the emotional reunion between Lucky and his mother, Laura Collins. Laura's voice can be heard, quivering with emotion as she softly calls out, Lucky, just before the video ends, showing Lucky turning to face her. The reunion promises to be a tearjerker, with years of separation and heartache coming to a head. Fans will want to keep the tissues close for this long-awaited family moment. With so many high-stakes confrontations, dramatic revelations, and emotional reunions on the horizon, General Hospital is gearing up for a week filled with unforgettable scenes. From shocking secrets to heart-wrenching reunions, the week of October 7 to 11 promises to be one that fans won't soon forget. In a heartbreaking twist for General Hospital fans, Sam McCall is preparing to leave the soap in a storyline that promises to pack an emotional punch. News of Monaco's exit broke weeks ago, and with her character slated to be killed off, viewers are left bracing for an unpredictable and shocking end to Sam's journey in Port Charles. Monaco's departure was confirmed by her mother, Carmina Monaco, who revealed that Kelly's final scenes were filmed on Friday, September 27th. Given the show's production schedule, fans can expect Sam's farewell to unfold sometime between late October and early November. The end of Sam McCall is rapidly approaching, and the anticipation of her exit has already stirred countless fan theories. On Sunday, October 6, Monaco fueled further speculation by posting a sentimental photo on Instagram alongside her co-stars Kate Mancy, Nancy Lee Gron, and Kristen Veganos. Her emotional caption, last seen with the Davis girls, still doesn't make any sense to me, sent shockwaves through the fandom, confirming that Sam's departure would be both heartbreaking and profound. Fans were left wondering, how will Sam's final moments play out? In recent episodes, Sam made a bold declaration to Dante Falconeri that she planned to dive into the river to recover the gun Alexis tossed off the bridge, hoping to clear her mother's name. Alexis is currently in prison, awaiting trial for the murder of John Jagger Cates, and Sam is determined to bring justice and peace to her family. However, with her looming exit, fans are speculating if this dangerous dive will lead to Sam's untimely demise. The tension was already palpable when Dante expressed concerns about the choppy waters, leaving many to believe this could be the tragic turning point. But Kelly Monaco's Instagram post suggests another possibility. The presence of the Davis women together hints that Alexis may be freed from prison before Sam's final moments. Could Sam's fate be sealed during a confrontation between her sisters, Christina and Molly? Some fans have speculated that a heated argument between the two could escalate, resulting in Sam tragically intervening and suffering a fatal accident. Perhaps she falls and hits her head while trying to break up a fight, or maybe something more unexpected leads to her demise. Could her last scene with her family actually be part of a dream sequence, or is it truly her final moment alive? Adding to the uncertainty is the fact that General Hospital often films scenes out of order, leaving room for even more twists. While this emotional scene between the Davis women was the last one Monaco filmed, it might not necessarily be Sam's final appearance on the show. Fans are left with one burning question. How will Sam McCall's exit story end? One thing is clear, the countdown to Sam's departure has begun, and with the anticipation building, her exit storyline is sure to deliver an unforgettable shock. General Hospital's spoilers suggest viewers will need to brace themselves for an unexpected and heartbreaking farewell as Sam's final chapter unfolds in Port Charles. In the bustling world of General Hospital, Tuesday, October 8th promises a whirlwind of emotions and revelations. Jack Brennan reunites with Anna Devane to discuss her recent mission with Jason Morgan. Brennan, impressed by Jason's skills and Anna's trust in him, sees potential in roping Jason into more assignments. However, Anna quickly intervenes, cautioning Brennan to back off. After Jason's brush with danger, Anna insists he needs a break, especially for the sake of his sons, and warns Brennan not to push too hard. Meanwhile, in another corner of Port Charles, Dante Falconeri does his best to comfort his son, Rocco, as the family grapples with Lulu Spencer's declining health. 
Rocco fears that without a liver transplant, his mother's time may run out, but Dante is determined to keep hope alive. That's not gonna happen. I won't let it, Dante firmly tells his son, showing his resolve in the face of uncertainty. Sadly, the latest test results bring more bad news. Lucky Spencer learns he's not a viable donor for his sister, Lulu. The weight of this revelation sends him spiraling, leaving Elizabeth Baldwin worried about his mental state. Later, in a fit of frustration, Lucky lashes out at Bobby's restaurant, ordering everyone to leave as he struggles to cope with his inability to save Lulu. Elsewhere, Felicia Scorpio discusses Robert Scorpio and Holly Sutton's relationship with Max Scorpio. Although Felicia believes there's little they can do if Robert and Holly choose to be together, Mac voices his concerns, insisting a reunion between them would be a terrible idea. Meanwhile, at Robert's office, he and Holly continue to catch up after their involvement in the Jen Sidwell case. Holly hints at her questionable motivations, acknowledging that sometimes a girl's gotta make a living, and reveals she may have been manipulating Sidwell for financial gain. Over at Pentonville, Alexis Davis seeks help from Martin Gray in her ongoing legal battle. Martin pitches a defense strategy that sparks hope for Alexis as they plan her next move. Sam McCall visits Alexis, but their conversation takes a serious turn as Alexis warns her daughter that Christina Corinthos Davis must not reveal her involvement in the gun scandal. Sam is tasked with keeping a close eye on Christina, but it seems inevitable that Christina's actions will only stir up more trouble. At the Metro Court, Carly Spencer steps in with an offer to help Lucas Jones by getting Brad Cooper fired from General Hospital. Although Carly's offer is tempting, Lucas seems determined to handle the situation himself and insists he'll simply avoid Brad. However, the tension between Brad and Lucas continues to simmer, and a reunion between the two may be on the horizon, despite Lucas's attempts to move on. General Hospital spoilers indicate that the days ahead will be filled with shocking developments, emotional turmoil, and plenty of twists, keeping fans on the edge of their seats as secrets unravel and characters face life-altering decisions. On a dramatic Monday, October 7th, in General Hospital, emotional confrontations and shocking revelations took center stage, leaving the residents of Port Charles on edge. At General Hospital, Lucky Spencer had an unexpected reunion with his son, Aiden. After being out of touch for so long, Lucky was apologetic, but Aiden had something important to confess. In a heartfelt moment, Aiden revealed to his father that he was gay. Lucky, though momentarily taken aback, quickly reassured Aiden of his unwavering love, saying nothing could change how much he cared for him. The two bonded further as Aiden updated Lucky on his growing baking business, reminiscing about Luke Spencer's diner days. However, the emotional high took a devastating turn when Elizabeth Baldwin came in with Lucky's final test results. Lucky's hopes of saving his sister, Lulu Spencer, were crushed when Elizabeth revealed that he wasn't a viable liver donor, leaving him heartbroken. Meanwhile, over at Holly Sutton's suite, Jack Brennan paid her a surprise visit with champagne and questions about the mysterious Jen Sidwell. Holly, carefully hiding her stolen diamonds, played coy and pretended ignorance about Sidwell's operations. Felicia Scorpio later arrived, warmly greeting Holly, though she admitted Max Scorpio wasn't as thrilled to see her. Felicia encouraged Holly to go see Robert Scorpio, despite the awkwardness of their past. In Robert's office, he made it clear to Diane Miller that he was focused on building a future with her and not living in the past. But when Holly finally appeared at his door, Robert couldn't hide his feelings. His flirty voice insed, I've been waiting for you all my life, left Holly pleasantly surprised, rekindling old sparks. At the Quartermain mansion, Violet Finn faced her own troubles at school. After a recent altercation with a bully, Tracy Quartermain gave Violet some tough love, advising her to ignore the provocations next time. Giovanni Gio Palmieri, in his own way, shared his family's more aggressive approach to handling such situations, but Violet ended up bonding with him over the loss of his parents. Their touching conversation brought Lois Cerullo to tears as she eavesdropped from around the corner. Tracy later caught Lois listening and hinted that she might have already handled Violet's school problem, leaving Lois suspicious of Tracy's methods. At the school, Harrison Chase and Brooke Lynn Quartermain met with Violet's principal to discuss her recent behavior. 
Though Violet had become withdrawn and lashed out at another student, the principal was sympathetic and praised her as a good student. Therapy was suggested as a way to help Violet through her struggles, and just as things seemed settled, Diane showed up, clearly sent by Tracy to handle the situation. Chase and Brooke Lynn quickly ushered her out, assuring the principal they had things under control. At Bobby's, Willow Corinthos brought Wiley for a snack before their final boat ride of the season. They ran into Lucas Jones, and after introductions were made, Wiley was thrilled to learn Lucas was his great uncle. Michael Corinthos and Maxie Jones soon joined them, but Lucas made a quick exit, declining the boat ride invitation. Maxie followed him to Bobby Spencer's grave, where they shared a heartfelt conversation about the past. Lucas revealed that the distance had helped him heal from the Wiley baby swap drama and that he was finally ready to be an active part of Wiley's life, but he warned Maxie not to play matchmaker for him just yet. Back with Michael, Willow, and Wiley, the trio shared more about Lucas's role in Wiley's life, though the little boy was more focused on the fun boat ride ahead. Despite the peaceful moment, General Hospital spoilers tease that Michael and Willow's secrets are simmering beneath the surface, setting the stage for inevitable conflicts and explosive truths in the near future. Port Charles is bracing for even more chaos as secrets come to light and relationships are pushed to their limits. Join the conversation below and make your voice heard. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest developments and visit our channel daily for the most recent soap updates, news, and spoilers. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. See you in our exciting next video.